Uh, so I was lucky enough to be out there for a while and uh, I saw uh, four uh, British gold medals, uh, three uh, world records and it, and it really was an incredible privilege to be part of the Olympics out in Beijing. To see what a fantastic job the Chinese have done in terms of organising it, stunning venues, uh, fantastic sporting environment which is why and not just Team GB, but so many, so many records were broken, so many fantastic uh, athletic experiences and sporting experiences. But I have to say, I think it was the one thing that really touched me, is that I, is that I spent, a, spent a week or so walking on the Great Wall, as raising money for some charities here in the UK, but also particularly for the British Paralympic Association. And I got one day at the Paralympics last week, and I have to say, the, the inspiration of those guys. I mean, people like Danny Crates I've worked with over the last few years, um, but to actually see them competing, to see the effort and the commitment that they put in to get to that uh, world-class uh, world class level was extraordinary. And I think if I you know, take anything away, it is that thought that if you keep trying, you keep getting there, whatever adversity, you can be successful. Some of you in the audience um, may be either there in 2012 or indeed in 2016 because you get inspired to really compete in sport and to become uh, the very best. But I think for most of us, the reality is that we're not going to be out there on the podium. Hopefully we'll get a chance to go and watch it. But I think, you know, what I would bring want you to take away from today is to think about how you're going to be inspired over the next four years. What we've all had a chance to do out in Beijing, and you guys watching TV have had, is to be inspired by watching those athletes and those Paralympic, the Paralympic athletes uh, achieving and striving to be the best. We can all do that in our own way. I'm really pleased to see some guys in the middle row over there from Dean's school. That's my old school. Strange enough, you can tell I'm, I'm not an athlete. Um, but I've got my kind of sporting story, because when I was in, uh, um, in old money for, for the adults here, when I was in the first year of secondary school, uh, I got tapped on the shoulder by a teacher and told, Carson, you're playing in the rugby team. Now, I'd never run anywhere before that. I'd never done any sport. I kind of looked at the guy and said, you're completely mad. You know, I collect stamps. You know, I don't do sport. And he said, no, the great thing about rugby is anybody can get involved. Anybody can be a part. And you're going to be a prop forward because you're a big guy. You might not be able to run very fast, uh, but you're going to be part of that sporting team. And for me, that absolutely changed my life. If I hadn't been involved in sport, if I hadn't played rugby, if I hadn't understood that everybody can play a role in sport, different types of sport, different positions in different teams, then I certainly wouldn't be here today and having a chance to be involved in trying to get the best benefits for Essex on the Olympics. That inspired me. That was kind of my sporting inspiration. And hopefully all of you, because you're incredibly lucky in one sense to be growing up at a time when we've got the Olympics happening on our doorstep, actually in the county in Essex uh, with the mountain biking uh, at Hadley. And I, and I hope all of you take some inspiration from what you've seen up there and also what's going to happen over the next few years and think about how you can succeed uh, as we move towards 2012. We're also launching today uh, the work that we're doing with London 2012 and with Essex with your schools to really help the Olympics come into your studies. So you'll see a lot more about the Olympics in the subjects you're, sub you're studying at school. You'll see it in the curriculum. And you're going to have the opportunity literally to see the games growing out of the ground around you. So I really hope uh, you take that. I hope you enjoy that opportunity uh, to really make the most of the games and walk away from today thinking about what's the one thing this is going to inspire me to do, uh, inspire me to succeed. And whether it's about sport, whether it's about being better in terms of your studies, um, whether it's volunteering, I think that's a really good point, you know, around actually getting involved, getting engaged, volunteering in your community, uh, or thinking about possibly being a volunteer for 2012. But above all else, I hope you have fun today. Um, you're part of an incredible event that's happening not just around the UK, but right around the world. And, you know, we were there, lucky enough to be there with the closing ceremony for the, the Olympics. You're going to see the closing ceremony for the Paralympics here, and you're going to have the opportunity in this room to be part of that massive network. So have lots of fun today, enjoy yourselves, um, take, a, take a story back to your school, tell them what you've done and hopefully be inspired by it.